Hello, hello, dear people, dear women, dear empaths. I feel like all of a sudden, at least, you know, in my own world, in my own body, that all of a sudden things have, have gotten uh, kind of serious, which there's nothing wrong with that. That all of a sudden, there feels like this real need for myself and for a lot of the people I'm working with to really truly expand. So I wanna to speak to that today. So look at this land that I'm on that inspires me uh, no matter what. Just a few months ago, this land was full of trees. It was green, it was fertile. And now if you look at the soil, it's all charcoal and with some trees standing. So I want to talk about the difference between um, wasted, angry energy that depletes us and uh, drains us and the true power of anger. So stay with me for this video. Last week, it became very apparent to me that someone's behavior had uh, from actually like about a year ago, had really truly um, hurt me and made me angry. And now I ran into this person again and was talking to them. And there was something that they said that just made me feel irritated. And I paused in this conversation because they're not within my close, you know, circle, but I felt this tightness in my chest. I felt a tightness in my chest and a tightening Oh, Bella, in my, in my arms. And I realized that, I recognized that as the protective energy of anger. And because I know this pretty well now, because I do teach classes around anger, I sat with it and I let it sit because I know, here's what I learned. When anger comes in like a tightening of the gut or a tightening of the chest, contraction, just wait before we start using our arms and legs and our voice and flailing around. Because right there, with all the flailing, I might go, I might have gone home and like, you know, picked a fight or, you know, stomped around. That's what I call flailing and it's, it's draining. Just pause during those moments. And what I found, about an hour later, here's what happened. I felt into my body again, and I felt right in my solar plexus. So right there, that tender part, right where your, your ribs meet. I felt like this ball of, I don't even want to say pressure, but I suppose it was pressure. But it was like a, it felt like a very deep and dense feeling but it didn't feel exactly like anger, like anger. It felt like power. That deep sense of power in my body, in your body, is what we need to tune into when we feel that. And that power brings us to natural reaction, to protect ourselves, to um, voice, perhaps to this person what had actually hurt me or to feel it myself and to allow that to be the focus of my healing not all the other stuff of, of flailing around but what lies deep in your body when you find that if you can stay with it see what it has to say and see if there is some action because it's that is the power that will either bring you forward to, to actually say to someone in a very, you know, matter of fact way, don't ever do that again. When you said that, that was out of bounds. Don't ever do that again. Even if I, as I say that, I can feel that powerful energy in my solar plexus. Whereas if I had acted from my chest or from my belly, who God knows what it would have come out of my mouth. When you feel anger, resistance, irritation, annoyance, stay with it. Because if it's propelling you towards protection in that moment, you're already acting. You're already there, okay? But if you're not, 
then that's the time to stay with it. See if it leads you to something deeper because that is where your power as an empath really truly lies in your womb, in your belly, in your solar plexus. And boy, when you harness that anger, watch out. Your words have a thousand times more weight. Your presence expands. So you no longer need boundaries because you have territories. People feel you coming. You have a magnetic presence in your womb that just creates and attracts things to you and people to you. And that's where we're going in my next course, The Quantum Empath. And it's uh, opening up tomorrow, which is the equinox, a powerful magnetic time on the earth. It's the polarity between the north and the south perfectly in alignment that creates the most magnetic power on the earth and in your own body. So we're harnessing that, uh, that magnetic power in, in your own body. Uh, for healing, transformation, lifting, and so much more. Take care, everyone. See you in the next video.